households across the country have been facing a number of infrastructural challenges, particularly after the introduction of free senior high school, free SHS. The number of students shot up hugely in SHS after the initiative was implemented in 2017. This, however, increased the burden on educational infrastructure as payment of parents' teacher association dues that were hitherto used to construct various structures in schools is now not compulsory. Government says it is embarking on a drive to build various infrastructures in schools to address the challenge associated with infrastructure. Although some projects have been completed, many schools are still struggling as their situation has improved. The Gamma Education Service in recent times had to postpone the reopening of schools after the conference of heads of assisted secondary schools, CHAS, raised issues of infrastructure in schools ahead of reopening for senior high schools. Authorities at Prempe College have recently also lamented about the state of some uncompleted projects in their school. Thus, the authorities say, has forced them to make students study in such structures, although they are not conducive for academic work. As part of efforts to help address some of these challenges at the school, the 1997 old students of Prempe College have stepped in to construct an accommodation project for the school. According to them, the government needs the support of various groups to help address the numerous infrastructural challenges in schools. Victor Ade Ousu is the general secretary of the 1997-year group of Prempe College Old Students Association. He spoke on behalf of his year group when they cut sword for the construction of a four-unit two-bedroom apartment accommodation for staff of the school. The government has a lot on his hand considering the free education uh, policy. That alone is not uh, easy. So if you leave everything to the government, in fact, so they have a long way going. Look at the number, the time, the, 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 the year that the school was open. By now, we shouldn't have, have accommodation. Problems. So government can still come in, but for, at the moment, we, the old boys, also think that we also have to give back to our, our, our dear college. During our time, the entire college, I don't think it will be more than, it, will, it was not more than even 1,005. But now look at the numbers. So as the numbers are increasing, then it means that more infrastructure is also what needed. That's why we are appealing to all individuals, well meaning Ghanaians, corporate institutions, to come to, to support. And if they come to you and support, they will never regret for doing such a thing. On his part, headmaster of Prempe College, Aaron Etuya Jeu, noted that the project, when completed, will help enhance security in the school and also make them provide accommodation for more teachers in the school. At the moment, our population is 4,425, out of which over 2,000 will be boarders. And uh, if that is the situation, it then calls for a number of staff, a large number of staff, to be able to supervise them, especially during the night, because these are young men who may not at, uh, understand certain actions that they undertake. So. The adults should be around almost everywhere to police the activities, to ensure that they don't cross over the walls, they don't scale the walls, and then that would gradually help them to focus on their studies. From Rempe College, I'm Fati Amini Ibrahim, It's been over a week since the University Teachers Association of Ghana, UTAC, embarked on a strike action over poor conditions of service and students are bearing the brunt of that action. Final year students of the University of Cape Coast who spoke to City News emphasized that the strike had put pressure on them since they had barely two months to complete their program. Many of the students have gone home 
and they say that living on campus without classes is not worthwhile. We are supposed to be writing our quizzes and because of that it has been put on hold. Many students have left because living on campus is very expensive, the food and everything, transportation in and out. And because of that, I'm, I'm thinking maybe when they come back it's going to put pressure on us. Me especially, I'm a level 400 student and we have barely two months to complete school. We have to also start our national service. So we are thinking, are they going to to extend the time that we have to stay here in school and how is it going to also affect our national service since we have to start in maybe September or maybe later October. The strike is really affecting us in so many ways in our studies especially with the 400 students some are supposed to take our data from administrators and the lecturers but here's the case they are on strike so it's really delaying our data collection and our research work as a whole. So we are pleading with the government to do the necessary things to get our staff back to work. Most of our colleagues have left for the house because they say they can't stay in school while the lectures are not around. I'm supposed to be taking my data from the senior members and junior staff and they are the people on strike at the moment so it's really delaying our project. And also for the time, to, we have barely two months to complete. And I don't know how we are going to write because we've not even written our quizzes yet. So I don't really know how this is going to really help. I don't know whether they're going to extend the time or not. In fact, it's really affecting us. It's really affecting us.